Is it possible to dissect a mosquito? Yes, very carefully. We dissect mosquitoes to learn more about their anatomy and function. Let's take a look at two organs that are important for our studies, the spermifica and the midgut. Here I have a female mosquito that has been anesthetized. To remove the spermifica, as I am looking through a dissecting scope, I anchor the body of the mosquito with one pair of fine forceps and use another pair of forceps to gently pull on the last segment of the body to tear it from the body. Internal organs remain attached to this last segment. Among the first to be released is the spermifica, a round black disc that stores sperm transferred from the males to the females during mating. On your right, we can see a spermifica from a mated female the black arrow is pointing at the sperm in the opened spermifica compared to the one on the left from an unmated female that does not contain sperm. Now, if we continue pulling, we will see the midgut, an essential organ responsible for digesting the blood after the female mosquito has fed. If a mosquito was infected with malaria parasites when consuming their blood meal, the parasites will form osis in the gut wall. The midgut can be stained 68 days after the feeding to check for malaria infection, and the osis will look like round dots. For example, the midgut on the left is from an uninfected mosquito with no malaria parasites. On the right, black arrows are pointing at some of the osists, indicating the mosquito was infected with the malaria parasite. If you want to learn more about Target Malaria's initiatives, please visit targetmalaria.org.